is Kevin Ravelli. I'm a tenor one in the chorus. Joined in January 2017. I'd been on my own for about six months and winter was hitting in Boston. And I said, you know what? I really need an activity where I can get out and meet people and, you know, get myself into Boston more often. So I actually wound up searching online Boston choruses. And I guess Google knows a thing or two about me because the first thing that popped up was Boston Gay Men's Chorus auditions. I also play rugby with the Boston Ironsides. I've been a dancer for a year, maybe going on two years now. Many people would not know that I actually have two black belts. I uh, studied Taekwondo and Shaolin Kung Fu growing up. Um, and I managed to get a black belt in each system separately. When I first started dancing, I think it was a little bit difficult for me to adjust so quickly just because I had never done dancing before in that sense. You know, I like I said, I'd done martial arts growing up and that taught me the body awareness and it helped me figure out where are my muscles in space. And I never really thought that that could translate to dancing. That was probably the biggest hurdle, just overcoming the idea that, you know, you, you auditioned, you got it, run with it. You know, I kept on help holding myself back at first thinking like, oh, this, I'm not doing this right, this isn't for me, I'm not a dancer, all these other guys, they're all really dancers, you know, they know what they're doing. I, I think I had a conversation with Michelle at one point where she said, stop, you're a dancer, get over it. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. We got a dog, Peanut, back in January, and he's this adorable little chihuahua mix. We got him from a rescue. He had a bit of a tough time adapting at first just because it was a new place and new people, but he's very friendly. He got to know us very quickly. Um, he's a handful. I call him a brat all the time. I love him. He's <laughs> such a joy in my life. If you want to follow, you can go to at peanut to your jelly. If I had to listen to like just one song on repeat, it would probably be something from for, for all my nerds out there that like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, just like an ambient piano soundtrack from that game. It's just one of those things that I could just play and leave for hours, never ever get tired of it. This past summer, I got engaged to my boyfriend, Kevin. We don't have any plans for a wedding, but we, we have committed the plan. We just don't have a plan, but we're committed to one. My absolute favorite BGMC moment is in A Love That Will Never Grow Old, right after Chad's piano solo, where the chorus comes in and we all start singing, lean on me, let our hearts beat in time take strength from the hands that have held you so long. And then the, the note where we all sing, uh, who cares where we go? That note where we all just sing in unison, you know, the, the orchestra has built up to this great moment and that's the climax of the song. hands down my favorite. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it right now because <laughs> it's just such a powerful moment for me. And, and that was the first time that with the chorus, I felt like such a strong sense of unity and musicianship. And we were all invested in that moment. That was a moment where I was like, everybody is focused on Ruben. We are all singing our heart out. We all know this song sounds beautiful and fantastic. And we know this is the best part of the song. And we just hear it in everyone's voices. It's just, it's my favorite, favorite musical moment of the BGMC, hands down. <laughs> oh, yeah.